Congress President Rahul Gandhi on Tuesday accused PM Modi of acting as Anil Ambani's middleman in the Rafale deal. Gandhi's attack came after an Indian Express report that Anil Ambani met French Defence Minister in 2015, days before the Rafale deal was signed. Rahul asked PM to answer how did Anil Ambani know of the deal before it was signed. He accused the PM of violating the Official Secrets Act by allegedly informing Anil Ambani about the deal. Prime Minister is acting as Mr. Anil Ambani's middleman. प्रधानमंत्री इज इन वायलेशन ऑफ ऑफिशियल सीक्रेट एक्ट क्रिमिनल कार्रवाई शुरू हो जानी चाहिए उस बेसिस पे Slamming the CAG report on the Rafale deal that is to be tabled in Parliament, Congress President Rahul Gandhi on Tuesday dubbed it as Chaukidar Auditor General report rather than the Comptroller and Auditor General report. He said that the report is useless as it is a report written to save the Chaukidar. It is Narendra Modi's report written for the Chaukidar on behalf of the Chaukidar for the Chaukidar by the Chaukidar. So I would call it I wouldn't call it the Comptroller and Auditor General I call it the Chaukidar Auditor General report 17 people including a child have been reported dead in a fire that broke out in a hotel in Karol Bagh area of central Delhi early Tuesday morning. At least 20 fire engines are at the spot to douse the fire at Hotel Arpit Palace news agency ANI reported. Fire officers said that there was wooden paneling on corridors because of which people couldn't use corridors to evacuate. Two jumped off the building in panic. In a major embarrassment for former interim chief of CBI Nageshwara Rao, Supreme Court on Tuesday found him guilty of contempt of court. The court sentenced him to imprisonment till rising of court, which means he will have to sit inside the court for the whole day. The court also slapped a fine of rupees one lakh on Rao. As interim CBI chief, Rao had transferred officer in charge of the Bihar Shelter Home Abuse case. The court also ordered the interim CBI chief to not take any major policy decision. Later, in an affidavit, Rao had apologized to the court. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra's husband Robert Vadra and his mother Maureen Vadra have arrived at the Jaipur Office of Enforcement Directorate for questioning in the Bikaner land deal case. The Rajasthan High Court has asked Vadra and his mother to fully cooperate with the ED. Priyanka also reached Jaipur on Monday night after the mega road show in Lucknow to be with her family. Robert Vadra was questioned by ED in Delhi for 2 days last week in connection with his alleged Benami properties in London. Democratic and Republican parties in the US have reached an agreement in principle to avoid a partial government shutdown media report said report said that the tentative border security deal provides 1.375 billion dollars to build 55 miles of border fence US president Donald Trump last month had brought a temporary end to the longest government shutdown in American history while dropping his previous insistence on immediate funding for wall construction along the Mexican border John Lennon's classic song Imagine got a new spin with the ICC recreating it with a cricket twist. This is how a series of tweets go. Imagine there's no Dhoni. It's so very hard to do. Most Indian cricket fans won't help agreeing. The cricket version of Imagine also features English pacer James Anderson. Freedom finally for footballer Hakeem Al Arabi who returned to Australia after spending 2 months in a prison in Thailand. The footballer was welcomed by his fans and Football Australia officials at the airport in Melbourne. Hakeem was arrested in Thailand during his honeymoon but a strong diplomatic push from the Aussie helped Hakeem to walk free and return down under. In an attempt to shorten this year's Oscars to 3 hours, Oscars for cinematography, film editing, makeup and hair styling and live action short will be presented off air. The move has greatly upset the nominees. Director for the film Vice, John McKay says, the move will be a blow for makeup artists who worked so hard to transform Christian Bale into Dick Cheney. Meanwhile, Bohemian Rhapsody editor John Ottman has called the move insulting.